Bismillah ar-Rahman Today, inshallah, we will discuss leading time and the plotting time's lag. Uh, just before speaking about leading time and the plotting time, just to summarize in few few minutes about the process of hemostasis. Hemostasis process starts by minute injury. Then, at first, local vascular spasm will occur. Then, plated plug formation. Then, plug clot formation. It, the, we, now, by bleeding time and the plotting time, we we'll try to examine both vascular function and the platelet function and clot formation. So, this lab will concentrate on how to examine hemostatic function of the blood. Yes? What are the objectives of this lab? As we notice here, the objective of this lab interpretate laboratory tests and the measurement used to assess bleeding time and clotting tendencies. Especially what? Bleeding time, clotting time, and the plasma level of clotting factors. Let's start by hemostatic screening tests. Each test of these samples we will need. One test, for example, for thrombin time, we just try to know what is its significance. Yes? The main significance of thrombin time to give an idea about the concentration of thrombin in the blood. As we know, thrombin is clotting factor number two. Need to be activated to transform fibrin into fibrin. Fib to form the fibrin, which is stabilized by factor 13, to form network of fibrin, which entangle red blood, corpuscles, white blood cells, and related to form soft clot, then clot retraction occur to form firm clot. So, prothrombin time, give an idea about this factor, which is prothrombin factor. Give an idea about vitamin K deficiency, how this occurs. As we know, prothrombin group of anti of clotting factors are synthesized by the liver, need vitamin K. Prothrombin group of clotting factors include prothrombin, factor 2, factor 7, factor 9, and factor 10. Okay. So, if we have vitamin K deficiency, we have prolonged prothrombin time. Also, prothrombin time gives an idea about extrinsic pathway of clotting. As we know, while we're starting pain break or minor entry, there, is, there are two systems act simultaneously. Extrinsic system and intrinsic, intrinsic. occur simultaneously. Extrinsic starts by tissue factor, released from what? Injured mm -hmm. tissue. While intrinsic starts by contact activation of intrinsic factor within the blood. Contact activation of platelet or contact activation of factor 12. So, prothrombin time act to estimate or give an idea about the extrinsic system or pathway or extrinsic cascade. Next one, international normalized ratio. And it is a very important one used today, nowadays. International normalized ratio, it is more accurate than prothrombin time. Prothrombin time, while we dying several times, several readings will appear. But international normalized ratio try to standardize this prothrombin time. It is ratio, as we notice, between patient prothrombin time, between prothrombin test of the patient to the normal one. To the normal one. Multiplied power by constant. So international normalized ratio is more accurate than prothrombin time, and it gives us an idea about extrinsic pathway also of blood clotting. Normal value of international normalized ratio range from 0.9 to 1.3. Variations of international normalized ratio, if high or increased international normalized ratio, it means high risk of bleeding. Why low international normalized ratio like 0.5 means chance for having a clot. It helps us also in follow-up of warfarin therapy. Patients on warfarin therapy usually have 
high international normalized relation between two to three. So at first we did prothrombin type. Essential to identify or get an idea about prothrombin level. Vitamin K deficiency, extrinsic system of clotting. More accurate one is international INR. normalized ratio, which is used instead of prothrombin time now, it is more accurate, gives uh, also an idea about what? About extrinsic to a clotting. Gives an idea about follow up of the treatment by treatment. warfarin therapy. Yes? Next one, just the name and its use. Activated partial thromboplastin type. As we said, prothrombin and the international normalized ratio for extrinsic, extrinsic here for intrinsic. intrinsic. For intrinsic, yes? Intrinsic factors. Then, thrombin type. Thrombin type, as we remember, thrombin formed from prothrombin. Prothrombin. By prothrombin group of activators, activators. which include factor 10, say what the proper factor? Factor 4, calcium. Factor 5, Yes? Yes, yes? And make it factor 3. All of these are called prothrombin activators. Then, prothrombin is activated to thrombin. Yes? To transform fibrin into fibrin. Blood. Yes? Then, stabilized by factor 13 to be stabilized the fibrin to form fibrin network the clot. clot. So, by thrombin time, give an idea about the final common pathway of blood clotting. Now, one of the major important objectives of this lab, bleeding time. Bleeding time, at first we should know its signification. Bleeding time means time of bleeding. From what till what? From pinprick, as we will do, till stoppage of bleeding, Bleed. provided that no blood formation occurs. Again. Bleeding time means time elapses between pain break, yes, as we will do, till stoppage of bleeding without, without clot without formation. formation. Yes? Imagine with me, if for any example, for any cause, you are pain break, for any cause, and the bleeding will start to occur. If you all time remove the blood, remove the blood, no time for clot, after some time, Bleeding will stop. Still. And this is without occurrence of clot formation. So now it is called the bleeding time. But if minor pain break occurs and you forgot it, by time bleeding will stop by this clot. Now it is called clotting time. So bleeding time time elapses from pain break to the stoppage of bleeding without clot formation. Without clot formation. What is the significance? of bleeding time. As we should remember again, hemostasis bus in steps. Role of vessel, local vascular spas, role of platelet, platelet blood formation, and finally clot formation. The first two steps, which are vessel wall integrity, local vascular spas, platelet function, platelet blood formation, are examined by what we call bleeding time. So, Bleeding time is important to identify the platelet and the capillary function or vessel wall function. It is ordered just before even minor injury, minor procedure, minor surgery. We should do bleeding time as well as clotting time. Methods of estimation of bleeding time. Bleeding time done by many, many, many methods. Many methods. But Famous of this, what we call IV method, what we call DOP method, and the modified DOP method. We will start by the IV method of bleeding time. As any experiment we should do, what are the materials used, indications, procedure, how we do, and the results. For IV method, as we notice here, we should have a sphygmomanometer. We should have disposable lancet. We should have, yes, stride swab. We should have filter paper or tissue paper like this. Yes? So, yes, also, 
in, in such a case, IV method can be done by many, many methods. Not only by this, by this disposable lens. But can be done by any, any other methods. Yes? So, I am, I am, I am in again, physiology lab. Come physiology what are the materials used in such a case? Physiology IV lab. IV method. We need come, a swing manometer cuff. We need a stopwatch never to do time, whether bleeding time or clotting time without stopwatch. This is the time. So we need a sphygmo manometer. We need a stopwatch. We need a disposable lancet. We need what? Tissue swab like this. Then, how to do the experiment? Yes? 